here's, here's the, problem the problem with these, these screws. screws. Sometimes, Sometimes they're, just they're just stuck. stuck. I give I them give a little, little calf, calf. And there you go. Break it loose. Because that vibration kind of sends a vibration through the material and uh, breaks it loose. It's pretty simple. And there we go. I didn't even need to take that screw out, looks like. But we did it. And it's done. And it looks like there's some sort of pin on the very bottom here, just kind of holding this bottom piece on still. There we go. We got it. And there it is. There's your oil pump. Got the the gears that pump the oil. And they're running, they're working pretty good. So as you can see, uh, I guess there's some oil and gunk on here. I'm really curious to see if there's any holes in this gasket. It might not be. It doesn't look all that bad. However, it is a piece of rubber that's 30 something years old. So I'd recommend replacing it. And that's what I'm going to do now. Because I kind of see. I don't know, maybe around the edges here, right where it meets the shaft, it might be wore out. Might be sucking a little air through there. All right, let's set you back over here. And what I did on the other side was I basically just punctured through it and I started prying it out. I don't know if we can do that on this one or not, but we'll give it our best shot. And I can, I can feel it has some space in here around here so that could be it could be a bad seal it really could be let's see if we can pry it out i might just tap into it with the hammer looks like there's some metal some sort of metal piece within the rubber so i'm not exactly sure how this is going to come out yet I've heard people say to take two screws and screw it into either side, okay, and pull it out that way. It doesn't sound like a bad idea, but I almost think I can probably just pry it out from around the shaft with the screwdriver. There we go. And there you have it. Now, what I can see right away is the inside of this gasket is missing, ripped off. And I can see it inside here. Look at that. There's the spring. There's the other rubber piece. So there definitely was sucking air through there. And um, with the new one, which uh, I'll open up and show you. You can see what it's supposed to look like. The spring is in there. So, let me show you a close-up of the inside of this thing. I'm probably just going to hit it with a little carb cleaner and then throw some two-stroke oil on the gasket, or I mean on the seal, and uh, go ahead and put that back together. this clean it out a little bit get any of that rubber it's still stuck on there off so I've got some Yama lube basically gonna take my gasket here to 
just throw a dab of oil on it. Just like that. Work it around. It'll go in nicer, easier this way too. And you'll have a little bit of oil when you reinstall it over the crankshaft. It looks pretty clear. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this back over. And as you can see, the oil helps it slide on there pretty nice and easy. You have to be careful. Don't wanna damage anything. But I get up a small block of wood and I just tap it all the way around. So let's do that. <clears throat> so there's really two ways you can do this. You can actually use your piece of wood or you can use one of these like rubber mallets, but it's not a lot of room to get in there. So I usually use the block of wood. And it's gonna go, it's gonna go left and right. As you can see, probably gonna move from left to right as you try to put it in. So you just gotta work it back and forth. And eventually it should go in. Just wanna make sure it's going in and not getting bound up. Okay. It's going in pretty good. You can see right here, the rubber gasket is not it's not going in. So we're gonna have to try to pop it in there with this screwdriver. Well, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to sneak it behind there. 